Hello everyone, this is Vincent Chen from Compliance Gate. Are you planning to import PowerBank's product to the United States? Or maybe you're an Amazon seller, you want to sell your products on Amazon, and then you are at the right place. Because uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the regulation or the safety standards about power banks. And uh, without further ado, let's go. So the first regulation I'm going to talk about will be the FCC Part 15 regulation. So the FCC Part 15 regulation, uh, they regulate uh, the radiators like the unintentional radiators or the intentional uh, radiators. But uh, what does that mean? Like, what? How does that relate to my power banks? And uh, no worries, I'll break it down for you. For the unintentional radiators, it mainly cover the most USB enabled device, like the uh, like the power bank, right? You have the USB port, and then uh, you can for the charging. So it is covered by the FCC Part 15. But let's say if you are, your power bank have some function like the wireless charging, like the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and then it will be considered as a intentional radiators. It, and it is also covered by the FCC Part 15. And you can go to the FCC official website. You can see many details. You can see the product scope. You can see the requirements like the labeling requirements or other technical requirements. And then uh, the most important, more importantly, you can also uh, determine if your products uh, are covered by the FCC Part 15 as well. So the safety uh, of the power banks is very important because uh, you don't want any accident happens with your customer, right? So that means um, we highly recommend that you should uh, conduct a FCC test and also there are many testing company that can help you to conduct with the testing with uh, according to the FCC regulation such as Shima or SGS or Indutech so uh, they can help you to determine whether what, what kind of requirements for your product what kind of requirements for your power banks and second I would like to talk about some uh, UL voluntary standards because uh, the UL, they provide a lot of uh, useful safety standards for importers or the manufacturers. And they can use uh, the, their safety standard to uh, make sure the products are safe, uh, make sure the products are compliant with the regulation in the United States. And also, they also have the certificate service. So that means you can, uh, they can help you to do the testing, to get, they can help you to do the UL testing, then they will issue a UL certificate or they will, you know, they will provide UL mark uh, to your products. And that is extremely useful uh, to show the, the authorities about your product compliances. And the next regulation will be the CA Prop 65. If you are planning to sell your power banks in California, that uh, also you must fulfill the requirements under the CA Prop 65. So CA Prop 65, um, they regulate some substances like heavy metal like or other regulated substances such as lead. So uh, also there are many testing company they can do the CA Prop 65 lab testing and uh, make sure you uh, arrange a lab testing for your power banks before you know selling your product in California. Let's talk about labeling. The thing is, you must uh, show that where does the product come from. If it is made in China, that you must, uh, you know, carrying a country of origin label on products saying that made in China. Believe it or not, uh, in United States, they even have the regulation or the requirements on the product packaging. So uh, in the packaging, you must not, um, you know, contain uh, excessive uh, heavy metal on packaging. So um, you can also conduct a test on your packaging as well because uh, some testing company, they can do the test for your packaging. So the last thing, uh, if you are Amazon seller, you want to sell your product on Amazon, 
Uh, beware of that. Um, actually, Amazon, they have a very strict requirement about uh, lithium batteries products such as the power banks. So uh, before you uh, importing the product to the United States or even set before listing your product on Amazon, so make sure you have all the documents ready, like the test report, like the certificates or other relevant documents. So it helps for them uh, to review your product compliances. Thank you for watching my videos. Um, of course, that uh, depends on different specification. Uh, they might have different requirements for the power banks. But uh, if you want to see for more details, feel free to click on uh, our articles and then or go visit our website to uh, know more about the product compliances. I will see you in the next video.